Hi, my name is Joey Papa and I'm a coffee consultant and today we're going to learn how to make raspberry espresso. Now making any flavored espresso is pretty simple if you just know how to make an espresso. Basically, you take your portafilter, which is a portable filter, you're going to fill it with finely ground espresso to the top. And again, you can get espresso beans pre-ground or you can grind them yourself. I recommend grinding them yourself. Um, you're going to take your pinky finger, you're going to go over the top of the espresso here to make a flat surface. Uh, take your tamper, which is to place pressure and then make the espresso very compact in the portafilter. Press down and turn, knock out any loose espresso back into your container, and then press again and turn. You're going to return your portafilter to the machine. Make sure it's in there tightly. And then before you pull your shot, you're going to take a uh, measuring teaspoon and some raspberry flavoring, which you could buy at any local grocery store. And my recommendation is about a teaspoon of flavoring because it is sweetened. Um, so if you don't really want the sweetness to overpower your espresso, then you just use a teaspoon. If you want more, then you can add more. So just go ahead and measure that teaspoon of raspberry flavoring. You can take your uh, espresso cup here, or a demi-toss cup, place it underneath the spout, turn on your portafilter, and watch the golden espresso flow. As your espresso is pouring, you're going to uh, want to make sure that you don't over-extract the coffee, which means that as the shot pulls, it's going to get more and more light in color. Before it turns too light in color, when it gets about a golden yellow, before it turns white, you're going to want to stop it and pull it out from the portafilter. Take a, you actually don't really need a spoon or anything to stir that around because as the espresso pours on top of the flavor, it'll dispense it throughout uh, the espresso shot. And you should have very evenly distributed flavor in the raspberry espresso. So there you go. You have your raspberry espresso. Um, if you want to add some steamed milk or cream to it, you can. Or if you enjoy espresso plain, then there's your shot. Ah, perfect. Again, my name is Joey Papa, and today we learned how to make raspberry espresso.